the beginning of this year, the Lord gave me a word, not like a long drawn out prophecy, like one word. And I've been studying and praying and really seeking the Lord and seeking his face to find out what this word means and what it entails for my life. And I can tell you as the year has ticked by, I find this word and the things that God is showing me about it, it becomes fuller, it becomes clearer, and excitingly, it becomes much more potent, it seems, with each passing day. So today I want to share this word with you, and I want you to meditate and pray on it and see if it's something that maybe the Lord gave me to share for you and for your life. But before we do that, let's check out what's going on behind me. This is our 100 horsepower farm tractor. Around here, we affectionately call her Bertha. Bertha's been around for a long time and she has a lot of hours on her. She's done a lot of work. 100 horsepower is a lot of power, especially in the torque area, which is really meant to get things going and get things moving. These rear knobby tires are nearly six feet tall. The engine is huge. The tractor weighs a ton and it is built for work. It's built for moving and it's built for power. But there's one really sad thing about this big of a machine. It can get stuck in about five or six inches of mud. And you may not think that's possible, but especially with the soil that we have around here, which is like a slick, tacky clay kind of soil, that soil can bring this tractor to a stop almost in an instant. What does that say about our lives? Well, we're gonna talk about that next. Just like this machine has an incredible amount of potential, you and I, as believers in Yeshua Messiah, Jesus Christ, have unrecognized potential. We have access to the kingdom of God. I don't even think we realize what that means most days. And yet, just like Bertha here, some of us, maybe many of us, are stuck in just a little bit of mud. Maybe it's a dream that you, you can't quite realize. Maybe it's, it's a place in the Lord that you want to go and you see it and you long for it and yet you just can't get there. Maybe it's something really practical like health in your body. Maybe it's your finances that never can seem to come together at the right time. Maybe it's one broken relationship after another. Maybe it's peace in your family and you know what you see, you sense what you want in your family and yet you just can't seem to get there. So what is the word that the Lord gave me for 2016 and what does all of this have to do with it? The word is traction. You see, this machine with all of its potential can get stuck in just a little bit of mud because it loses traction. So how do you and I as children of God gain traction in our relationship with the Lord? It's very simple, one word, not many of us like it. It's not gonna give you the warm and fuzzies. It's not gonna give you goosebumps everywhere. It's not the word that's gonna make you jump up and wanna shout. The word is obedience. I know, I know. For some people, obedience is, is, a, is a, a, a hush word. We don't like that word. And yet, I believe that what the Lord is showing us this year is that obedience equals traction. If you wanna move on from where you are, you've got to become obedient. God gave us the perfect plan in His Word. His Word is perfect. It's inerrant. It's absolutely perfect from the first letter to the last letter. And yet, if we don't follow it in its, in its perfection, then we begin to spin our wheels. We begin to be stuck for nothing. So my encouragement to you today is I want you to begin to gain traction in your relationship with God. I want you to move forward from where you are. But to do that, it's gonna, it's gonna take having ultimate faith in Yeshua. It's gonna take giving yourself and your trust to Him fully and not just saying you believe, but putting works to your faith and proving what you believe by what you do. And that will give you traction. Obedience equals traction. So it's time for us to get in the Word and, and, and stop praying for things maybe that we already have an answer to in His Word. His Word is full of answers. And God will not tell you something different in your prayer time than what he's already told you in his word. So I wanna encourage you as my brother and my sister, I wanna see you move forward. Out of Ashes Ministries wants to strengthen you one life at a time and thereby strengthening the whole kingdom. So let's get together and let's be obedient. Let's love the Father the way he wants to be loved. Let's worship the way he wants us to worship. Let's serve him the way he served us, the way he loved us and the way now he leads us. I wanna get out of this mud hole. I don't know about you, but I'm ready to start being obedient, to get some traction, and to move on to the great things that God has for the rest of 2016. 
We love you. God bless you. Check back next week for another Devo.